Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Today we'll be making this luminary with products that can be purchased at your local Dollar Tree. You'll need two of these triangle shadow boxes. Remove the label from the back of both frames. I had trouble getting this sticker off, so I used a razor blade scraper. And a blow dryer to remove the rest of the glue. We'll be creating a pattern by drilling holes in the back support piece of the frame. This is a hand-drawn pattern I created. I'll attach a photo and PDF in the description box if you'd like to use it. You can create any kind of pattern you like. You can even drill random holes with no pattern at all. Here I'm cutting out the pattern so I can attach it to the back portion of the frame. I'll just be using regular clear tape. I color coded my pattern to make it a little bit easier to drill out. Small holes are blue, medium holes are red, and large holes are black. Now I'm placing the pattern on the back of the frame, making sure it is centered on all three corners, and securing it with some clear tape. placing wood underneath the project to protect the table from the drill. I will be drilling directly through the paper pattern, starting with the smallest drill bit. That way, if I drill into the wrong color, I can always correct it with the next larger bit. Place the pointiest part of the bit directly on the dot and drill at a 90 degree angle. Here's a closer look at that. When all the holes are drilled, remove your paper pattern to reveal your design. The holes will be clogged with sawdust and paper from the other side, so use the drill bit to clear all of the holes. You'll need to do this on both sides. Here I'm using the drill bit without the drill. Use sandpaper to remove any further debris and to prepare the surface for painting. Continue back and forth between sandpaper and drill bits to make sure the holes are completely clear. Check the surface to make sure it's ready for paint. I used an acrylic metallic paint that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, 50% off, Deco Arts. As you paint, you'll see some of the smaller holes clogging up. 
keep a large pin or a safety pin nearby so that you can clear those holes so that the light can still shine through. This luminary actually required three coats of paint. When the front is completely dry, paint both sides and the bottom. Now we're going to remove the back side of the second frame to use as a back side on our luminary. Don't forget to remove that label. Paint the back side if you like. I did not. Place the frame back onto the backing. With a pencil, trace the inside of the frame. This will give you the borders for light placement. Now draw a rectangle to accommodate the cord from the fairy lights above the line of the frame. I tried using a drill bit to create this space, but found that it was much easier using the box cutter to cut out the rectangle. back over to the paper side. This is where we'll be attaching the fairy lights. Dollar Tree carries fairy lights, but they're much easier to find online. We'll be attaching the fairy lights one at a time with ordinary clear tape. Be sure you attach the tape to the cords only, not to the bulbs. Be sure each bulb is inside that line that you drew earlier. Now we're ready to attach the frame with glue. I'm using E6000. I wanted to use a glue that was strong, yet gave me a little bit of time to work with it. Hot glue gun dries too fast and it can burn off your fingerprints. Place your luminary on the backing 
making sure all four corners align. This is what the cord looks like in the back. You can glue the battery pack to the back, but I just left mine loose as it would just be sitting on a shelf. Here it is. Thank you so much for watching today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. Have a good one!